want to give her room, we don't want to give her too much room, and we want to make sure that we can still stand up straight without falling towards her, so that our next step can be balanced and taken towards the direction we want her to go. Yeah? And all together, it turns it into a beautiful whip that goes on one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we also did a cool rock and go move where we took a sugar push and extended it into a left side turn. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and 10. Key component here is the rock and go motion. This connects these moves together and sort of expedites the process to the next move and sort of makes it feel like a bigger, fancier move altogether. We already know the two moves. It's the connector piece that's the important part. We do this by engaging our frame with our partner and getting this sort of parallel movement going as we step towards our partner and move our shoulder with it. This rotates our partner as well and makes it so that when we come back, we start the momentum of the pattern again so that we don't anchor. Instead, we just keep moving. So after we do that, leaders, hold on, I'm gonna give a little directional reference. Leaders, we know which way our partner is going. Three and four. She's coming down our left side, so we need to preemptively get out of the way because that's what we would do in any normal left side pass movement, right? We still need to apply it even after the rock and go. So we're gonna make it part of the rock and go. That's one, two, three, and four, five, and out of the way. And then we can turn. This makes it much easier for our followers to fall through, follow through. She knows that she's passing because we're out of the way. We don't have to turn her around us. It just makes it that much cleaner and easier. Yeah? Cassie, do you have any notes Probably on that? My biggest note for the followers is just making sure we have a good frame and we're connected, our arms are connected to our shoulders, are connected to our torso. And so when our leader leads us, just like ballroom, we're a mirror image of him rather than being like, oh, oh, I was supposed to 